Greetings, we'll cover a few details about, Kirkpatrick Macmillan and his life in a succinct manner. Here is a short rundown of his early years, education, career, persona, notable works, and demise. Known as, Kirkpatrick Macmillan, famous as, inventor of pedal bicycle, born, September 2, 1812, Keir Mill, United Kingdom, died, January 26, 1878, Keir Mill, United Kingdom. Father, Robert Macmillan, spouse, Elizabeth Goldie, children, John Macmillan, nationality, Scottish blacksmith, discoveries, inventions, bicycle, place of death, Keir, Dumfries and Galloway. On September 2, 1812, Kirkpatrick Macmillan was born in Thornhill, Scotland's Keir Mill. Blacksmith Robert Macmillan, was his father. Kirkpatrick Macmillan was a prolific writer, when he was a child. He learned about mechanical devices and their metalworking, while helping his father at the forge. At the age of 22, Macmillan assisted Walter Scott, the fifth Duke of Buckleth, at Drumlanrig. Later on, he left to help his father with his work. While performing his work as a blacksmith, Macmillan came into a hobby horse being, rode on a neighboring road. Upon seeing it, he made one for himself. The feet had to be pushed on the ground, to move the hobby horse at the time. A self-propelled velocipede was the first concept Macmillan had, while developing the hobby horse, a vehicle that could move forward without, the traveler putting his feet on the ground. He got to work on his concept. The new machine, which was the precursor to the modern bicycle, was finished by Macmillan in 1839. It was essentially a wooden bicycle with pedals. Its steerable front wheel and a bigger rear wheel were both, made of wood with iron rims. He connected the pedals and the back wheel, with connecting rods. The original Macmillan equipment demanded, a great deal of physical effort from the rider. When the rider put his foot on the pedal, a horizontal reciprocating movement moved, the bicycle ahead. By sending the action to the rear wheel cranks, connecting rods enabled the rear wheels to advance. It worked similarly, to the connecting rods of a steam locomotive. Despite the bulky equipment and the physical effort required to ride the bicycle, Macmillan quickly mastered the skill and used it, to commute the 14 miles to Dumfries on bumpy country roads. Thanks to the bicycle, he completed the trek in under an hour. In order to progress the voyage, Macmillan rode his bicycle from Dumfries all the way to Glasgow, in 1842. He planned on traveling 68 miles in two days. Macmillan accidentally knocked down a little child in the gorbals while riding, resulting in the kid's mild injuries. He was penalized five shillings for the same offense. This was the first incident related to Macmillan's bicycle journey that was noted. Macmillan never considered trying to market his invention or attempting to patent it. He simply used his bicycle as a means of transportation to travel through the peaceful countryside. But as soon as they saw Macmillan, they understood the power of his invention. According to legend, Gavin Dalzell of Lesmahago duplicated Macmillan's device in 1846. He was so taken aback by the design that he shared the specifics with many individuals for more than 50 years. As a result, Dalzell received credit for creating the bicycle for more than a decade. People didn't discover who the genuine inventor was until much later. After observing Macmillan drive through Glasgow, Thomas McCall made necessary upgrades to the bicycle, including adding brakes. It's interesting to note that McCall turned down all offers of recognition and never patented his designed bicycle. Macmillan and Elizabeth Goldie got married in 1854. Two children were a blessing for the couple. The early bicycle Macmillan Road can be shown at the Glasgow Transport Museum as a tribute to the man who gave the world the joy of cycling. The reason Macmillan is best known is because he created the modern bicycle. The concept for a self-propelled vehicle originally came to him 
as he was building a hobby horse for himself. He labored to build a vehicle that could go forward, on its own with the aid of a rider's pedal. The first pedal cycle in history was created by Macmillan, who used a timber frame and iron-rimmed wheels. On January 26, 1878, he passed away in Court Hill. His family's smithy had a plaque that stated, he built better than he knew. <laughs>